Hello everyone, my name is Elder Espedo. I'm a solution specialist from Ergosoft and I'm here with you today to talk about print and cut workflows. Print and cut workflows are divided into two parts. The first part, printing process that's handled by the RIP. Then the second part, the cutting process, sometimes is handled by an external software or a plugin that can communicate with the cutter. At Ergosoft, you support a wide range of cutters in the market. For those one, it gives us an advantage that you can communicate with them. So, with a simple configuration, you can create a file where all the cut paths can be set and the specific tool to be used for those cut paths. This way, you can simply create an output file for cutting that will be prepared and will get our job done quickly. This means that it can in somehow automate our print and cut workflow. And to see how simple it is, stay with me and let's check in the software. So here we are at the job composer and we are going to see now how to set a print and cut workflow. So the first thing you need to do, as you know, is select the print environment that you want to use. For this case, I will leave this one selected. And then you need to create a job that you already have it here. So what you have to pay attention now is to our cut environment that you have right here. On the list I have two cutters there, but I want to select the cutter number one. But before it continues, you need to come here and activate the cutter cutting. Otherwise, the software will not know that you want to print and cut afterwards. So let's activate it. And before I do, please pay attention here to the job. As you can see, there is a gray area that is showing up around the job. This is an area that is taken in consideration by the cutter, so he knows where he can place some register marks or another information that is needed to the cutter recognize the file. So now that the cutter cutting is activated, it can start to create our job. So I'm going to import an image. Let's go there to import and select our file. And here we have this file. The intention with me uh, for this file is to have some stickers in the end. So I will want to cut a square around every object and the silhouette of every object. And for that I have this file with two spot colors that if you want to see if you have spot colors on your file one way is to select the file and come to replace spot colors. In this case it is a PDF file. So I can see there the two spot colors. One is called cut complete and another case cut. I named them like this so I can easily identify what is my intention for that cut path. So now I can go to the job properties in action just clicking on the job and now here I can see the properties and actions and the one I want to select is the job cut settings where I will be able to set the cut path and the cat settings. But before I do, I will just want to change the view. And I will select print and cut. So this way, I will be able to see a better overview of my cat path. So let's go there to the cat path and for the cat path number one, I will select the cat complete. Of course, those have been done previously allow me to show you the configuration. So I have it selected there, let's check the information and as you can see there are different options to create the cat path or to identify. The one I want to use for this one is path from image data and spot color and as you can see I named the spot color I want to use plus I said to the software that I don't want to print this color. So this is how it looks the cut path for this file. Let's cancel because this is just to show the information. And now I need to define what are the cut settings I want to use. Of 
course I already have done that previously so let me just select here from the list and I have here the cut complete and those cut settings allow me to show you I can see what are the settings to be used for that cut path of course let me tell you that those settings in here can change from device to device because not all device support the same the same options so here for example on cutting tool as you can see I have select the method to through cut because I want to perforate the media and cut it completely but this give you a rough idea how the cut settings work now for the second cut path I'm going to select the kiss cut and for that cat settings I will select the kiss cat as well and now I will apply and here you can see how the cut complete will look that is the red line and how the kiss cut will look so you can see an overview where the cutter will cut well at this point you are already in the point where you can print and cut our file and for that it's simple let's just go there to the print button now we have here the command to send the file to be ripped let's click OK and now let's click OK to allow it to be cut so at this point the file has been sent to the cat queue and to the print queue let's check our print queue first otherwise if you don't print he cannot cut so let's go here to our print cut print queue I'm sorry here it is our job now is waiting here in the print queue let's click start now that our job is printed he can go to our machine and load the media and take the media to the cutter and now that you have our media on the cutter let's start our cut queue since everything is loaded correctly you can just click on start and cut our file and this is how simply it is to create a print and cut workflow with ErgoSoft of course you could make it more complex but it will not get more difficult I hope that this information was useful for you and if you have some questions please write us an email to es.info at ergosoft.net you can always follow our social network as YouTube, LinkedIn and Twitter there you will find more information and news about us Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video. Bye!